Hey, this is Mike from Mike's Towing in Bennington, New Hampshire. Today's video is on our light duty off-road recovery unit. Uh, we call this one the Creature because it is modified and is kind of a science experiment, uh, kind of a Frankenstein. This vehicle came to us as a rollover, which was abandoned. But a lot of these modifications were done to it, uh, lift kits, springs and suspension parts, front and rear bumpers, the light bar, the roof rack, all of this stuff. And I just couldn't bear to send it to the junkyard. Um, also, it's a four liter and uh, it's a stick, obviously four wheel drive. So uh, a desirable uh, off-road vehicle to begin with. So uh, we decided to build it. We straightened out the pillars and the roof, uh, a combination of just brute strength and uh, ramp trucks and wreckers to pull it uh, to make it so the doors will shut almost all the way. We did have to do a windshield and another piece of glass, some electrical work, some exhaust, brake lines, metal work. As you can see on the front, we have a 12,000 pound Badlands winch. That's a Harbor Freight winch. The back of the vehicle is obviously where we got carried away. So the roof and the hatch was crushed down um, and I've been looking for something to take off road. The wife gets a little discouraged when you take her Tahoe out and you bring it back and the running boards look like bananas and I don't know why that bothers her, but anyways. So we decided to do this. So we cut it uh, right at the middle of the rear window. Uh, you can see the big fat sail panels that we built there. Uh, the rear glass is actually one of the side windows. Uh, we rolled the original roof skin down we weren't really going for beauty, as you can tell, just uh, seal it up. And then we added uh, this boom. The main part of the boom is a stabilizer bar off of the five ton military wrecker. And we mounted a winch under that, as you can see, and came up with our uprights. That winch there is also a 12,000 pound Badlands Harbor Freight winch. And we ran Trying to move this thing without making you guys sick. We ran a separate battery back here, uh, tied the cables all the way into the front battery so the alternator charges the battery at all times. Uh, besides that, uh, we just used buckets for storage, our straps and our chains. We reinforced parts of the floor, uh, reinforced the A-frame to come down and meet with the bumper. Uh, and that is all reinforced to the frame underneath. We also tied in, I don't know if you can see it. So where the boom goes down, that is, the, it's pinned in. Um, also the winch is also pinned in with a, um, a regular trailer hitch plate. So there's a big bar that runs across from wheel well to wheel well, and um, we sawed down into the wheel well and we're able to support that beam on both sides of the frame. See the little boom is extendable. Uh, we really only used this in an instance where we had to uh, actually hang a vehicle off the back of it and drive the thing out of the woods. Uh, stolen vehicles, people wheel them out into the bushes and smash them to death and there they sit. So this is the means to get it out. Again, that's just a simple pin design, that's all. Uh, stock set up for uh, the way the military uh, had this designed for a stabilizer bar for their boom. Also, we have these dinks here welded into the bumper that come out at an angle. These are for these jacks. And the whole idea behind those jacks is to prevent the Jeep from doing a wheelie. Uh, when you're doing a hard pull. As far as keeping the Jeep stationary, um, we have uh, the factory emergency brake. Uh, we also put in a hydraulic brake. Uh, and these little guys here, which are scotch blocks. So I wanted to touch on scotch blocks because I noticed on Facebook there's a lot of guys who uh, don't really understand what they're for. They're kind of an old school thing. They've really been replaced by hydraulic outriggers. Uh, however, I will say there really is no true replacement for them. Um, 
depending on the surface you're on, they are the ultimate tool. People confuse them with chalk blocks. So a chalk block is that thing over there that goes behind the wheels just to keep it from rolling. So the scotch block has a chain built onto it that goes, well, I'll show you, I guess. So the scotch block goes behind the wheel like that. This chain is then hooked onto the back of the wrecker body loosely. So once you hook on to your casualty, you tighten the cable, roll the vehicle up onto the scotch block. The vehicle tire, your, your wrecker tire, sits right about here. Uh, if it goes, it can't go any further because it's going to hit the chain and stop on the chain. So the entire weight is pushing down on that block. So now are you not only moving the vehicle weight, you're also moving the earth that it's sitting on. Um, unbelievable amount of pulling power. Uh, hopefully I can demonstrate that for you a little bit later. Okay, so now that the sun's gone down a little bit, um, we'll take a walk around the vehicle. So you guys can see it a little bit better out of the dark garage. There's another creature in there. This also has uh, just the stencil style lettering on it. Uh, again, didn't want to put vinyl on something that I'm going to smash through the bushes. Scratch it up, come home, touch it up, no big deal. Now we have used the front winch quite a few times. I mean, probably five or six times in conjunction with the rear winch. A couple of times I actually thought I was gonna rip the thing right in half, um, but it is done unbelievably well. Um, most people look at it and think that the whole idea of this type of stuff going on with a Cherokee is insanity, and I'm sure it kinda is. But so far it has done surprisingly well. Hopefully the uh, demonstration video will also show that. Okay, onward. One other quick thing I wanted to mention because I screwed it up in the military wrecker video number three. The company that I got the stencils from that's located in New Hampshire is stencilsonline.com. That is it. Okay, so our test and demo subject for the creature today will be the Rio Giant. That's a 1987 Rio Giant with a 40-ton weld-built wrecker. It's a 10-wheeler. I am guessing probably 35,000. A buddy of mine guessed 40,000. I have not had the opportunity to scale it yet, so uh, don't quote me on either one of them numbers. The vehicle is sitting at about a six degree pitch. A fairly firm surface is a little squishy on the rear, so we get a little bit of added resistance. I will be releasing the brake, so we will have just pure rolling resistance on the creature. I am going to guess that I should be able to do it with a single line. Obviously adding a snatch block into the equation reduces the pull. Uh, but I want to really work the creature for the purpose of the example. I probably will trip the breakers on the winch. So it might take a, a minute longer than it should or so, but prevents the winch from exploding. So I'm okay with that.